Hi everyone, it's Hayley and I'm going to be doing my nine week pregnancy vlog. Um, I'm so sorry that this is four days late, three days late, three or four days late. Um, today is Tuesday actually and um, yeah, I didn't get time to do it on Friday because um, we've been away for the weekend. And since I've been back I've been trying to catch up on washing and chores and all that good stuff so I haven't had a spare moment until now AJ's in bed for the night and so I'm just gonna do it now and then chill out and um, relax so <clears throat> this week oh, this past week um, this is from the 15th of February through to the 22nd um, Everything was going well on the 15th, then the 16th and 17th, which was a Saturday and, Saturday and Sunday, were my worst days um, as far as nausea is concerned. It was horrible. Um, I was pretty much lying down all day, feeling really sick all day, um, just felt absolutely awful. So it was really hard to um, focus on just being a parent and attending to AJ's needs and things. Um, I did take a nausea pill, but it didn't help. Um, it lasted a couple of hours and that was it. And the maximum you can take is three during the day. So I don't know what was up with that. Um, so I didn't take any more that day. I just sort of dealt with it. Um, but yeah, so those were my worst days and then I picked up for a couple of days and then I had another sort of badish day but it wasn't as bad um, and then I sort of picked up again. So yeah, but um, what I've really noticed was that I'm getting really, really out of breath, um, very breathy now and I, it's to the point where I can't pick AJ up, um, I can't pick him up and carry him even a short distance, it just, it really just wears me out and I'm like, <sighs> it's like really, I just can't get, I can't seem to get enough air in, enough air out, whatever, um, so I'm, yeah, I'm just really out of breath, like the simplest, smallest things just make me out of breath, hanging up the washing, um, folding, washing, doing dishes, cooking dinner, just things that, you know, tidying up, AJ's toys, things just, the smallest things, and it's so, it seems so stupid to me, um, but yeah, um, my boobs are officially super, super, super sore, um, painful now, not uncomfortable, painful, very sensitive, and I'm very careful. Um, I have not talked about this next thing, um, or pregnancy, and so I'm going to now, um, midwives. Now, um, I wanted to wait until I had my first scan to make sure everything was okay before I, um, looked for a midwife. And I had one in mind that I really wanted to, um, ring first and see if she was available and that was the midwife I had with AJ and she was fantastic I really liked her um we you know I just yeah she just I just really liked um her approach and everything and we gelled quite well and um she, yeah just through my pregnancy with AJ and through labour and delivery and everything she was fantastic so I really wanted to ring her um, first and see if she was available before even looking at any other midwives. And thankfully, she was. So um, I have the same midwife that I have with AJ, and so that's going to be really good. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've booked my first appointment with her, and 
that was actually today but I'm not going to cover that until I do my 10 week one um, but yeah first appointment is done um, I don't know whether anybody um, who doesn't live in New Zealand knows a lot about how our um, maternity care our pregnancy sort of system works um, <clears throat> so I thought I'd just talk a bit about that um, just quickly because um, I know it's different for every other country um, and systems are different and I think it's just interesting to see how um, things differ and um, you know what sorts of things are maybe normal in one country and not in another um, or things seem like oh that's strange to do but is you know the thing to do in another sort of system so here you have options of having a few different people as your lead maternity carer while you're pregnant um, you can have you can have um, a midwife you can have your general practitioner um, and you can have like your own sort of private OBGYN um, you have to pay for the OBGYN um, pediatrician specialist whoever if you want to go private you have to pay for that yourself um, the midwife and your general practitioner it is free um, our government pays for it um, which I feel very lucky that we do um, have that so yeah um, what happens is during your pregnancy all your visits to if you have a midwife um, all your visits to her are free and also while you're pregnant all your visits to your GP for other things like um, if you get sick while you're pregnant and stuff is free so while you're pregnant your care um, medical care and things is free so that's how that works which is um, a huge bonus um, and medical care for children is free up until the age of six so <clears throat> yeah um, but anyway so with a midwife you pick one basically um, my GP referred me he gave me some recommendations on midwives that I could ring and um, who he you know thought was really good and had, had um had worked with and things like that so that's how I got my midwife um but as with any sort of midwife care like you don't see them as regularly in the beginning of your pregnancy as you do towards the end so um generally it is good to try and get your midwife booked up before you are like 10 weeks pregnant um, as early as possible is the best because they do get some midwives um, might not be available for that month because they're taking time off or they've already um, booked up the amount of clients that they can handle that are due in that um, time frame so you've got to get in quick if especially if you've got one that you really like or that people have really recommended and said you know this one's fantastic um you gotta snap them up quick because they yeah they're really, really quite busy um so then of course you know you have your first appointment and things um and they go over all your medical history and um, find out all your information and all that sort of stuff and get blood work done and all that sort of all that good jazz um, and while you blood getting blood tests and things done is free and it is for any blood tests um, but what we have to pay for here is ultrasounds 
So where I go um, to get my ultrasounds done, I don't know if this is the general sort of price for all ultrasound places um, in New Zealand, I don't know. But the ultrasound price is $30. And with that, like, you get um, a DVD of pictures, um, excuse me, that they give you. And I had a couple of pictures printed at my 12 week scan with AJ, but I didn't have any printed at um, the anatomy scan or anything like that. Um, it's not really a um, a policy, I guess, um, to print pictures, like a lot of pictures, um, at like every appointment, which is fine because I've got the DVD of AJ's, all of his um, scans, and what they do is um, if you take your previous disc and they can just add them on to um, like if you're generally there are only three scans or ultrasounds done um, during pregnancy for us is usually they you have like a dating scan if you're unsure or if you want to have a scan just to make sure everything's okay your next one of course is the important one at 12-13 um, weeks to check for things like Down syndrome and make sure everything's growing correctly um, and then the next one they do is at 20 weeks which is the anatomy scan and that checks everything it checks to make sure the heart chambers are working the brain's going good bones are growing properly etc etc generally they don't do any others um, as a necessity after that you can go in um, <clears throat> and get one done if you want to get like a 3d 4d one I think that costs a bit extra I've never had one done and what happens is after you've delivered your baby your midwife um, looks after you for six weeks um, and then you get transferred to the, I don't know what you would call it, how I would say it, but we have a um, organization called Plunkett and that looks after children. Um, it does all their checks um, from six weeks until five years. Um, until they start going to school so um, you get lots of checks as babies growing um, you know eight weeks ten maybe 10 12 weeks you know um, and then they get a bit more spaced out as baby gets older so um, AJ had one just after he was a year old his next one is not until he is two and a half unless I want to take him in earlier um, which I can do if I want to. So, and that's free too, which is really good. Um, it means that there really is no reason why um, mums and dads and grandparents and caregivers can't take their, their kids or their babies in to be checked and made sure that if you want to birth, it's free to birth wherever you want to birth. Um, if you want to birth at the hospital, that's free. If you want to birth at um, a birthing centre, that's free. If you want to birth at home, that's free. Um, I don't know if there is a cost involved if you have to have um, a caesarean. Um, I don't think there is, but um, if you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm pretty sure it's all still free as long as it's you know a public hospital if you go to a private hospital then I think you probably have to pay um, but yeah everything's everything's free which um, I mean that's really wonderful and I'm certainly very grateful that it is I honestly I honestly don't know if I could afford 
maternity care if it wasn't free. Um, so yeah, that's, yeah, uh, I think that's about it for this week. Nothing's really changed as far as the nausea goes, it's still hanging around, but I mean it has not in the slightest gotten anywhere near as bad as it was with AJ at this point. Um, and I don't think it is going to get as bad as it was with AJ at this point. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that I can function and look after AJ and not, I don't know what I would do. Um, actually, if I was feeling as bad as I would have felt when I was pregnant with AJ because, honestly, that was a nightmare. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm really sorry this is late. Um, but yeah, life got in the way. So, um, I'll leave it there if you have any questions.